Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to listen to this song. Which I wrote using an augmented chord. And which you can too. This is a C major triad, a three note chord. It is made up of the root note, the C, the note a third above that, the E, and the note a third above that, which is a G. And all these notes are coming from our C major scale. And here is a C augmented triad. We have our root, our third, and our fifth. But here the fifth has been raised by a semitone. And this raised fifth means that the distance, the interval between our tonic note and our fifth has been made larger, it has increased, it has been augmented. The fifth here, our G sharp, is what we call a non-diatonic note. This note does not come from the C major scale. The most common places where we'll find an augmented chord are on the first, fourth and fifth degree of our scale. Okay, now let's have a quick listen to a song that uses an augmented chord. This is a song called Let There Be Love by Oasis. I'm sure you can hear there the tension that is caused by this augmented chord. It is a chord that is not happy in its own skin. It wants to resolve somewhere. And particularly the fifth of the chord, this G sharp, that non-diatonic note, much like the seventh degree of our major scale or our minor scale, which is called a leading note or a leading tone, this wants to resolve upwards. The augmented chord really wants to resolve to the chord a fourth above it, much like our dominant chord does. And therefore, it is often used as a substitute for the dominant chord when it is used. So our augmented chord can resolve up a fourth, which sounds like this. But we can definitely resolve to other chords as well. If I keep my right hand the same there, but put a D in the bass, well now we've resolved to a D minus seven. Not quite as strong that resolution there, is it? Although we've got to keep experimenting and trying different options. Another option here is to resolve onto the A minor chord. And that is exactly what Noel Gallagher has chose to do in his song. So that is the wonderful and intriguing sounding augmented chord. And I've shown you a few options there as to where it can resolve to. We can have our augmented chord resolve onto the tonic chord, therefore we're using it as a substitute dominant chord. We could have it resolve onto the minor second chord. We could have it resolve onto the minor sixth chord. And yet there are still more options. For a large part of the verse in the Oasis song, the augmented triad just drops down the fifth note and becomes a regular major triad again. And the augmented chord I've used in today's song doesn't use any of the resolutions I mentioned so far, which just goes to show us how versatile this chord is. As with all the musical concepts discussed on this channel, what I suggest you do with something like an augmented chord is just play with it. There are no right and wrongs. Just have fun with it and see where you can go with it and what you could do with it. Okay, now with all that done, let's listen to today's song, song 10 out of 100 on our quest to write 100 songs. And this song is called Viaducts. You're all
Song 10 out of 100 done, 90 to go. And what did I learn from this song? Well, from the things that I got wrong, actually quite a lot. First of all, the transition from the chorus to the verse isn't very good. It's a bit abrupt, a bit sharp, a bit angular. And that's because it isn't a perfect cadence. What we have here is a G7 to A minor chord progression. And that's a G7 to A minor that comes on the back of a chorus where we wander around quite a bit harmonically. Now, when we hear that G7, we're really expecting to resolve to the C chord. That would be our perfect cadence. But here I resolve onto an A minor chord. And that's why it sounds a little bit off, a little bit weak. Now, secondly, the melody line, the vocal line in the chorus, does not end before the melody line in the verse begins. There's no gap there. There's no sense of separation. And that's bad for the listener. They don't know where one part ends and another begins. And also, if you're a performer trying to do this live, well, good luck, because that's going to be very difficult unless you have the lung capacity of a blue whale. But these are good things. Making mistakes is a good thing. Mistakes aren't our enemies, they're our friends, because they show us where we're going wrong and what we need to do. You and I together are going to write a song. We're going to write many songs, and then we're going to listen back to them and see what works and what doesn't, what we like the sound of and what we don't. We write bad songs, and that is a good thing. Now, obviously today we also spoke about augmented chords. If you can think of any songs or pieces of music that use an augmented chord, please pop them down in the comments. I'd really like to know what they are. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and please join me in the next video and the next song.